So hi, we're back. Uh, today we're checking out a game called Humankind. Um, this is a game that is, I think, coming out either right now or very recently or very shortly in the future. It's one of those three. Um, and also, I'm pretty sure, is available on Game Pass. So if you have Game Pass, you can play this too. This is going to be the very first time that I have ever played this game. So we're going to be kind of learning it together. I'm very excited about that. It's a turn-based strategy game where you'll be rewriting the narrative of history and combining historical cultures to create a civilization that is as unique as you are. It is out now, and it is on Game Pass. Fantastic. Um, 60 historical cultures, face historic events, and impactful moral decisions, scientific breakthroughs, all that kind of good stuff. Every great deed you accomplish, every moral choice you make, every battle you win will build your fame. Awesome. Well, fantastic. And uh, yeah, this is going to be cool. You can also create your own avatar. Uh, kind of like, I don't know, who's that guy on the right there? Oh, he looks pretty good. Yeah, he looks pretty good. I don't know. He uh, looks somewhat familiar, but I'm not really sure. It, uh, something, uh, something about him. Just kind of, <clears throat> I don't know. But anyway, we're going to check this game out for the first time and, uh, and go from there. Did you link on the drops page? I think I did. I think I linked on the drops page. Are, are drops are drops looking good? Um, there's so many there's so many things going on with this. I know I connected to get the avatar, and uh, oh, let me look on here. Make sure we're linked on here as well. Drops are enabled. Our drops are on. I think. Um, mm. Do, 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 do. Let me make absolutely sure, because if there's drops, I want you to get drops. Let's go if you had a chin. Oh, come on. I do have a chin. Sort of. Primarily. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think we're good. Fantastic. Okay. So, let's play this game. Oh, wait. Can I do, like, a tutorial? Oh, hold on. I actually just changed my graphics settings. So let me restart real quick. I may not need to, but just to be safe. Let's restart real fast. Do, 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 Also enable drops. Twitch creator dashboard set to abstract drops. Um, okay. So. Oh, there's a lot of, of campaigns. Ah, here we go. Oh, perfect. Hold on. I think I found it. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay, hold on. We're, we're doing this right now. Do, 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 do. Cool. And... Yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. There it is. Authorize. Oh, authorize. And we are linked. Fantastic. Okay, so we are linked. We are in. We are connected. That does not look like Co. That doesn't look like Co, but that's because I'm I need to sign into the community. Twitch extension too? Dude, there's so much stuff on this. Looking good? Thanks. Uh, so wait, are the drops live? Oh, no, no, you don't need to do anything for the drops. Play Humankind just links them. Yeah. So you're, you're good there. You're good. Drops are enabled. Fantastic. Awesome. So the drops are in. Um, so how do I... Before, I just kind of did... I, do, I went into community. Here's Amplitude's AI personas. Um, but I think there's a way that we can actually like 
Bring me up. Hey chat, you don't you don't need to type that. It's okay. Thank you. Oh dude, there's so much connecting and stuff. This is so cool. Advanced. So you haven't defined your AI persona yet. Okay. Oh, yeah, chat, more bongos. More bongos. Oh, you can select new AI personas on the website too? Hold on. Do, 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 do. There's a global collection so people can make their own personas and then you can go in here and pick other ones. Dude. My Lord. One second, let me log in real fast. Okay. My collection, global collection. Looks like we're loading in now. If I if I disconnect and go back in, let me try this real quick. Because last time I did this and it just like gave me my persona. Okay. But now I'm not there anymore. I hope chat is memeing. Nope, chat's just kind of slow sometimes. Did I break my avatar? No, 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 no. I think it's I think it's good. I I had it there a second ago. But I think I should see other streamers' avatars too, so I'm not sure where oh, 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 hold on. 11-11 items unlocked. Oh, these are just the presets. Okay. Okay. Um, let's go to here. Oh, look at this. So these are other people's... Other people's stuff. Oh, this is cool. You've unlocked the title Introducer. Unlock the... Item. Oh, man. Uh, can, am I, like, on here? That's weird. Why did I have Elgato stuff in there? I wonder if I can actually look for me in here. Mm-mm. Goes -mm. Avatar looks different? Yeah, I, I have no idea, uh, where he is. I think I'm just gonna, I just kind of want to get playing, so let me just pick another one and go for now. This guy looks kind of badass. Mm-mm. Did I lose myself? I done lost myself. I did. I lost myself. I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find myself, but I'm having trouble. Um, <laughs> I've lost myself, Chad, and now I must find myself. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, save and close? Sure. This is the community stuff. Okay. All right, yeah, let's just get going. Okay. Look at all this. Try restarting? Oh, I, I, I already did. Yeah. It's a new game. Oh, so these are other avatars. Okay. Ancestor. Hmm. Boudica. And look at all these. So all these are totally, yeah, all these are totally different. Just watch yourself play the game for 30 minutes and get yourself as a drop. Fair. Fair. Yeah. I should probably do that. Oh, 
Okay. Let's do, we'll do Edgar. I don't have any idea what I'm doing, so this is going to be a thing. Let's try it. Doing it live! Edgar feels like the business type. He does. I agree. Loving the music. Amped. Have fun, my dude. Thank you, Samurai. Can I lower the music a little bit? I can't after this. Sure. What happened? In classic co form, I lost myself. Yes. And now, in my eternal journey as a human, I will attempt to find myself as we keep going. We'll see. We all know that I'm a hot dog. I am. How's a hot dog? Mm -hmm. Maybe the server's being hammered. It could be. This game just came out. So it could be that the server's getting hammered. I wouldn't be surprised. Hey, Beef Tank. What's up, buddy? How are you? Our universe contains infinite stories. Most of which are about rocks and ice at sub-zero temperatures in a vacuum. Rather boring. However, on a small damp rock, but I like there is space a story games. that bears a second look. It's your story. But the first four billion years or so mostly concern amino acids. Not much of a page to you. But then, over time, the amino acids bond together and things start to get interesting and a bit drier. <gasps> get the damn fish. A certain subspecies of hominid discovers that you can do more with a sharp rock than annoy your little brother. Tools and weapons are invented. The hominid... Co, get the damn fish. fish! Thanks, cat. Fire becomes a serpent rather than an unpredictable force of nature. They learn to tan the skins of animals for clothing. They learn ways to record and probably exaggerate their adventures. Eventually, these tribes learn to build shelters and immediately hold the first barbecue parties. This is the dawn of humankind. O okay. Struggle and cooperation have been rewarded. The Neolithic era draws to a close. The whole world beckons. This tribe has come far, but the rest of their story is your story. You are the one who will build them into a great civilization. How far will you push humankind? Here is where it begins. The future that you carve through force of will and a bit of luck, out of the raw stuff of planet Earth. Alliances and enemies, wealth and danger, Power and penury. May you leave the greatest mark. Welcome to Amplitude Studios Humankind. This is the beginning of a journey that will see you leave your mark on history. Understood. Understood is acknowledging the content of this tutorial and show more information concerning this feature. Well, they're nothing if not thorough. Uh, new to strategy games, daunted by the idea of learning their mechanics? Don't worry, we've got you covered. This hint is the first in the series that will help you get started. You only need to understand a bit of everything to have fun. With time, you will come to match the most advanced mechanics. From now, keep calm and follow the hints. I, I can do that. Your first objective is to survive the Neolithic era and earn your first era star. Era stars measure your achievements in the game. We will cover them in more detail soon. Okay. Super smooth. I like it. Wasid moves too. Nice. That's as far in as we can go. 
And that's as far out as we can go. Okay. What do I think about this game? I have no idea. I'm trying it for the first time right now. I would like to thank Sega for sponsoring the stream. Uh, we are taking a first look thanks to them. We really appreciate it. Thank you. These people are your people, your tribe. In the context of the game, however, a group of units occupying the same tile is called an army, whether it simply explores, defends a position, or attacks an enemy. Okay. Cool. Hi. A unit, and by extension an army, has a certain number of movement points to spend each turn. We have four here. This panel shows information about the selected army, name, status, and strength, as well as available actions and composition. If you're going to say it right, you have to say it right. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. This is sponsored by SEGA! <clears throat> there we go. An army has a limited amount of unit slots, which are displayed in the composition section. Uh, take some time to familiarize yourself with what your armies can do for you. Uh, we will cover this in more detail soon. To move an army, select it and press the move button in the army panel, then select the destination tile. Alternatively, you can directly select the destination tile with the uh, right click instead. That's the fastest way. Maybe the destination might take more than one turn. The number of turns is shown on the ground. Okay. I want to move there. Oh, nope, nope. I have made a huge mistake. Okay. Well, that didn't take long, did it? Um... This way? I want to get that gold. I, I like gold! Oh, but, nope. Okay, maybe I should have gone that way. Uh, can we, can we undo? This way. Um, there doesn't seem to be an undo function. I'm back where I started. Okay, uh, we are off to what's called a great start. Um, Fantastic. All right. So, um, <clears throat> your dingus applause, is showing. Please. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, God. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, understood. End turn. Okay, turn two. Let's go up this way. Gather food to grow your population. Every time the food meter is filled, a new unit is added to your army. Gather food by collecting food curiosities. Okay. How do I gather food? How does how does one get food? We move. A new turn has begun. Okay. Onwards. Okay. New turn. Turn three. Okay, let's go over here. That was one movement point. Yes. Looks like we're not going to be getting up on this bluff, this ridge, like I wanted to. My goal was to get up here and do something. But that is not going to happen. Aha, here's a thing. A science curiosity. Interesting. Okay, we are out of turns. Even those who have disappeared may have done something very clever. Oh, and there's food. Okay, so we got some science. Your tribe just gained science from investigating a curiosity. Fill your science meter to earn the knowledge era star. Okay, cool. All right, let's go down to, wait. Your tribe has enough star, star influence to found its first outposts. Outposts are crucial to the development of your early empire because they allow you to claim territories outlined by white dotted lines on the map. Okay. Do I want to do it here? A food curiosity. We'll get that in a second. Yeah, well, let's just do it right here. Yay! 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 Okay, cool. So it's going to be made in three turns. Right. Let's go get this.
Events will occur during the game based on how you play and how you shape your empire. It is up to you to choose how to respond to these historical challenges. Carefully review the proposed choices and make the best possible decision for you and your people. Select here to see more about the event. Urgent affairs require your attention. Oh, good. I'm five turns into the game and I'm already getting backseat gamers. Terrible start. No water. How, how, I mean, has this guy, does he even know what he's doing? I mean, this is, I, I thought these were supposed to be pro gamers on this twatch.television service. I, I don't understand why I'm wasting my time here. I've never played this game. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just following the tutorial. Chillax. We good. We good. All right. Mm. The tribe came across a vast tract of wild grain and stalks swaying in the breeze like the wind playing over golden waters. Oh. The ground down grain could feed the tribe twice over, but one of the tribe elders had another idea. Instead of pounding the seeds into flour, she suggests planting half of them so the grasses may return next summer. Oh, let's do some planting. I like it. Get it together, Co. Think, chat! Think! All right, let's go over here. What's over there? Look over there. Okay. If you're struggling with the mechanic or notion of the game, make sure to check out our tutorial videos. Oh, really? Where are those? Oh, probably the main menu. Okay, they should totally make those watchable in-game. Yeah, they totally should. There should be like tutorial videos right there. Uh, there are three ways to gain your first era star. Either increase your population, gather. Either increase your population, gather science from science curiosities, or hunt down wild animals. In order to gain units and increase your population, gather food through hunting wild... Uh, gain, gather food through hunting wild animals and forging food curiosities. Countermeasure your progress in the Empire Banner. Counters measure your progress in the Empire Banner. In the upper left corner of the screen, hover over them to get more detail. Okay. Cool. This way. Delicious. Though next time, it might be better if you washed it first. I found some nuts. I love nuts. Uh, let's go get this as a science curiosity. Oh, bring units to the tower to discover science or forge for food, depending on the curiosity. Okay. You have built a first outpost, adding Whoa. another territory to your empire. I know you're hoping this is the beginning of something very, very big. I am. World deed locked. Wonderful Lake Baikal has been locked by another empire. Okay. Are there any more tutorials or am I just am I able to chill? I think I'm able to chill. Influence. Every empire has traditions and customs that can spread from territory to territory in humankind. This propagation is known as cultural influence or purple star influence. There are many ways you can earn or spend purple star influence in the game. In the Neolithic era, earn influence by hunting or discovering science curiosities. You can then use this purple star influence to find your first outpost and take control over other territories. Which we already did. Cool. This army is currently located in an allied territory. As such, it will regenerate its health and may also benefit from other abilities. Cool. When do I start building star uh, destroyers? Oh, I believe that's in the advanced technological era. Um, but... I don't know if it's before or after the flux capacitor, and I think it's somewhere near the Borg cube creation. Yeah. But we'll see. It's a, it's a little ways off. Give me at least an hour. Okay. The nomadic tribe reached the ancient era with the Mycenaeans. Mycenaeans? Wonderful Kawaii Jin has been locked by another empire. Ancient encampment. We got some influence and some science. Cool. Oh, I like that music. Let's go over here. 
what this. Is that horses? Horse depot. This resource ex extraction is locked. You need to research the domestication tech after entering the ancient era. Cool. Um, so we can go down this way on the coast, or we can go north. Yeah, I think we'll keep going north and just seeing what see what's up here. This way. Ooh. Nice. God, I love nuts. Fantastic. Your army has gained a new unit, harvest food curiosities, or hunt wild animals, or ransack animal sanctuaries to collect more food and continue growing your population. Wait, what's this little thing say? What's this? A world of flame. In the distance, a thin cord of smoke cuts up into clear blue skies. Fire. Calling a few tribesmen, you run closer. The smell of cindered bark and burning pine grows stronger with each footfall. You spy dancing flames and suddenly find yourself on the edge of a settlement on fire. Many of the structures are ablaze, but even with the smoke and flames, you can see that the abodes are marvels of craftsmanship. You're about to direct your men to put out the fires with loose soil when you see a short shadow figure running away. Use. They can become part of your tribe if you give chase now, but that means losing the secrets of construction. What's your choice? All right, well, of course, we need to save the buildings. I mean, my lord, we could, like, learn how to make a new bed? I mean, come on now. Obviously. You can break up armies into smaller armies, which is useful to explore the map faster. Select an individual unit in the army. Okay, cool. Transfer? This way. Oh, did that not work? Oh, I think I need to do it with the... I right click, left click? Left click, there we go. Bloody boring! Thank you so much for the sub bomb, I appreciate that. And here I thought you were just making commentary on my stream. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you. This way. Oh wait, maybe you are. Were you? Maybe you were. Okay. Um, we need 20 more influence for another one of those. Can we be doing anything with this? I don't think so. Nothing yet. Okay. All right, we're gonna move you down this way. What's over there? Cool. And we're gonna, uh, what? Before you choose to attack an army, wild animal, or city, you can preview the balance of power between the two armies. Okay. Oh, I think this thing's gonna beat us. Hold up. Hold up. Hold the phone. You, you come back up here. You just chill there. Um, I love how the game is like, definitely split up because that's a smart thing to do. Then the next turn. Oh, here's a mammoth. He's going to crush you. You shouldn't have split up. Okay. Okay. No, that's... Uh, that's fine. Um, I know I have an idle army. Can I, can I, like yeah. a hawk. oh God, is it attacking? Wait, does it, is it attacking me? No, no. Okay. 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 Oh, you're this going way. back up here. You're going here. So will this merge them back together. Yes. Okay, cool. 